North America's greatest junior trophy, the Memorial Cup, is a prestigious trophy that only a few teams ever get to play for, and even fewer get to win. Every year we see the four teams that get to play for the trophy, but how do they get to that point? Well, the teams are selected from the leagues within the Canadian Hockey League, which includes the Western Hockey League, the Ontario Hockey League, and the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. The first three spots in the tournament are obtained pretty simply. Those spots are reserved for the champions of the playoffs in the WHL, the OHL, and the QMJHL, one champ from each CHL league. But if it's a four-team tourney, where does the last team come from, especially if all the leagues already have a team representing them? Well, before the tournament even starts, a city with a CHL team has to be chosen to host the tourney. Not only does the city gain the extra revenue from having the Memorial Cup tournament being played in it, but the city's CHL team is given an automatic berth into the tournament. This means that if, say, Saskatoon were to host the tournament, then the Blades would be given automatic access to play in the Memorial Cup tournament, which also means that the WHL would have another rep in the tourney. With the three leagues participating in this tournament, it means that there are 60 teams eligible for the tourney, which is a crazy amount if you think about it. A common question regarding the participating teams is what if the host city wins their respective league championship? What happens to that spot? Well, if we go back to using Saskatoon as an example, let's say they play against and beat Everett in the WHL final. Well, Saskatoon was already guaranteed to be in the Memorial Cup, so the berth would then be given to the runner-up of the host city's league. This means that Everett, Saskatoon, an OHL team, and a QMJHL team would make up the Memorial Cup tourney, with Everett having a chance at revenge. So now that the teams are in the Memorial Cup, how is the winner decided? To start things off, round-robin games are played, which means that each of the four teams has to play each other once. From there, standings are formed using wins and losses as well as goals for and goals against as the main deciders in the standings. The team at the top of the standings after the round robin games is given an automatic entry into the Memorial Cup Championship game. If there are two teams tied at the bottom of the standings, then the two teams play a tiebreaker game to decide who moves on to the next round. And if there's only one single team at the bottom of the standings after the round robin games, then they are automatically eliminated from the tournament. The two teams in the middle of the table take part in a semi-final game, with the winner moving on to the championship game and the loser going home. Finally, we now have the championship game for the Memorial Cup set. And the winner of that single game gets the title of Memorial Cup champion. And that about sums up everything you need to know regarding how the Memorial Cup tournament works. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.